In 2010, Juan Manuel Santos was selected as President of Colombia, with 9 million votes from Colombians to whom he promised to continue the policies of Álvaro Uribe. Y que oigan los terroristas y que oiga el mundo. A las FARC se le agotó el tiempo. Lo repito, a las FARC y a los violentos se les agotó su tiempo. Y los colombianos saben muy bien que yo sé cómo combatirlos. La Sevicia y la Federal, con que opera este grupo narcoterrorista. El grupo de las FARC, este grupo narcoterrorista, el grupo de las FARC. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias presidente Álvaro Uribe Vélez. Este también es su triunfo presidente Uribe. However, during his six years in office, he has spent his time negotiating with the narco-terrorist group FARC giving them privileges under the guise of impunity. On September of 2016, he signed the agreements with Timochenko in the city of Cartagena without yet being approved by the Colombian people. On October 2, 2016, Colombia voted no to the agreement between Santos and Timochenko. But the people's decision was ignored and stolen by the Santos government, who failed to acknowledge the people's will in the voting booths. The sacred values of Colombian democracy are in critical condition and are being usurped by FARC's allies. Colombians who are tired of this will raise their voice and their flag to say enough to silent complicity. On April 1st, the people will take to the streets to defend democracy and the Constitution. They will march against the impunity given to FARC. They will march against the tax reform. They will march for family. And they will march against the plundering of the state. The Nobel Peace Prize given to Santos has been an insult to the Colombian people, victims of his outrageous abuse. Colombians cry out, we do not want to be another Venezuela. No more Santos, no more FARC. April 1st, Great National March, Colombia.